Okay guys, welcome to this workshop. Now in this workshop, what we're gonna look at is setting up a custom domain. That is a main domain. So www.whateveryoulike.com. Um, we're gonna connect that up. So you will have bought that. Maybe you will have bought it in namespace. Maybe you will have used GoDaddy. You know, there's a ton of different places that you might have bought your domain. So obviously I can't show you all of them but um, the general rule will apply. Now, I've put a link down here of this page that you can see here. And this is how, these are the steps that we will be following. I will be showing you this on my uh, domain, which I bought, which is surfeddudes.com, okay? And I'll be attaching it live. I'll be showing you live on here. But if you follow these steps, this is basically what we're doing, okay? so we've got in here he's already given us what we set up on the site itself okay then we go down to GoDaddy so you can use GoDaddy it's given us a test in there and one for Namecheap as well which is another popular one also cPanel for web hosting this is the one that I'll be using because my host uses cPanel so and a lot of other hosts do as well so it's really easy um, and we'll set it up okay so first things first we need to go and you need to have an email that you will have been sent um, to log in to your particular hosting company be it name cheap or whatever um, so I'm going to first of all log into my site and set it up with my domain name that I will have bought okay so I'm gonna jump into surf dudes New Zealand site and we'll set that up now okay so I'm on the surf dude site I'm gonna now log in so I'm gonna go to admin and we're gonna go straight to the site tab here and we're gonna go to custom domains now in here I'm going to put the URL So this is the URL that I bought. Notice I've included the www, okay? Now this is a main domain, it's not a subdomain. So once we've done that, I'm gonna then just click update, okay? Now I need to go to my host and I need to change a few things in there. I just need to set up a CNAME record, okay? Okay, so I'm about to log into my cPanel. Now you're gonna notice up here, I've got dnewton.net. It's basically because I've done this as an add-on domain, okay? So I'm not gonna talk about add-on domains and those things, but basically I've just added that domain to this account as a separate account on my web, on my um, web space. So let me just log in. It's gonna log in and give me the dnewton account, but I can see my DNS records for surf dudes. So when you're logging in, you're just gonna see yours probably unless you've got, um, unless you've got uh, add-on domains. So I'm gonna come down straight to zone editor down here. And this is gonna take me into my zones. And you're gonna see here, I've got surf dudes. I've got other ones as well, but this is the one we're interested in. And I'm just gonna hit manage. You can create a C record straight away, but I'm just going into manage here. This is on cPanel. So here we go. So uh, what I've gotta do here is set up a new C name record. Now you're gonna notice that I have a C name record here and this is what I basically wanna do. I wanna change it over to the new one. So I'm gonna go edit here and we're going to change this C name one and I'm gonna go record and I'm gonna change this to my Zenla site. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy it, copy, copy, and go back to here and I'm gonna paste it in like this, okay? So that's it and I'm gonna click save the record. Now, if you look at how to set up a domain here and we go down to the cPanel site, you're gonna see that we kind of followed those steps. So we put that name record in there and you can go through, put your domain, then your school, 
and as we're following that now the thing is I've saved that now so you can see that in there scene name record goes to our Zenler school and now it's not going to update straight away it's going to take like maybe 12 24 hours so I can check I'm going to just now click and open up surf dudes and you're going to see at the moment it's not showing anything so let me just jump back into our site and click to confirm once you've completed the DNS setup click to confirm please note it can take 24 to 48 hours click OK okay so now we just got to leave it and it will do its stuff so if I refresh this now uh, it's not working yet but if I come back to it later um, and I'll show you at the end when it come back to it so I don't know I have to wait normally it's it does it like maybe two three hours uh, it doesn't always take 24 dot com names take longer than dot code UK names or um, associated names like AU and stuff so they can be quicker but um, dot com names normally take a while 24 to 48 hours that's basically to propagate that domain throughout the world so it knows where to go all right guys so that is it for now I'm going to just add on so I'm going to just pause the video and then I'll show you when it's finished and you're going to see that these will all be checked when we've done it okay guys welcome back so it's been a while now um, so we're going to now just check this out um, we've still got something to do which is a redirect and I'm going to show you that in a second but if I just type in here um, surf dudes uh, com, and we refresh this it's going to work actually it's with the www okay so uh, always check this in incognito so I'm going to come in here now remember this is this is going to surfdudes.com but the ww has kind of almost been hidden so I'm, I'm going to need to set up a redirect which I'm going to say, show you in a second so I'm going to go into incognito and I'm going to put in surfdudes s forward slash forward slash and then let me put in just surf dudes dot com and hit enter and this is what I'm gonna get because I haven't set a redirect up with just surf dudes it's got the WW if we put the WW in here is absolutely gonna be fine so if I put www dot there it's fine so what we need to do is set up a redirect so this is with cpanel okay namecheap and i think godaddy it might work automatically if it doesn't you might need to set a redirect up so you can do that inside of your domain um, control panel so we're going to do that now so really easy uh, we just need to come down to our cpanel to redirect so let me just go back to the main platform here and uh, let's go down to where it says redirects in cpanel and we're going to choose the domain we're going to choose is going to be my surf dudes domain here okay and we're simply going to put the domain which is here yep that's correct and we're just going to put it to http and put the www in there because it's set up inside of here for www so let me just log in now I've logged in let me go to site and to the custom domain and because I've got www in there it's not actually doing it on https colon forward slash forward slash surf dudes.com it's doing www so we just need to set a redirect so what I've said here is uh, redirect okay surf dudes redirect it to www so that does it that will do the job so um, we can leave that on what it is so that should be good we've got a this is pretty good permanent yeah so it's a permanent redirect and we're just going to click redirect with or without ww so it's always going to go to here so i'm just going to click that redirect button and now that will have done it i'm going to go back just check that it has actually put it in there so it should be this okay for our one permanent we can match to www it doesn't matter now i'm going to try it in there let's go back to incognito 
and this time I'm going to put HTTPS and colon forward slash forward slash and then I'm just going to put surf dudes dot com and we're going to hit enter and there we go we have it so now we have it redirecting with and without www so whatever you do now it's going to work so even if I put in the www surf dudes on here do check this because it's easy to kind of miss it uh, you're always going to come back to here so whether I've got www in here or whether I haven't it's always going to go back to this which is my Zendler site so that is how to set a custom domain up so key points to watch out for here is let me take you back through it is if you're having problems with the www bit or the other way around make sure that you do set up a redirect so from whatever it is to redirect to whatever it's working okay so whatever you're missing whether it be the www or not redirect to the URL that is working on the Zenla site so that's one thing okay that's the redirect and the main one is the domain change which is in our zone editor in cPanel and just make sure you set up that C name record in here to be this okay so you're putting www.surf-dudes.com obviously no dot it's adding that automatically but it's no dot there uh, and you're just setting up as a C name record and then you're going to your Zenla site so that's the record going to your Zenla site so it's taking this URL in your place and it's sending it to it's saying this this name is actually this name so it is then masking that and giving you the correct URL that you're going to obviously you know the surf dudes bit the redirect is there if it doesn't work with uh, not using www because then you can set a redirect so it redirects to the right place so you've got two places coming into the same place okay so that should be really clear for you now I know there's a lot of different systems out there but every host that you use you'll be able to set a C name record up and you should be able to set a redirect record up now we don't take support questions on the plethora of different um, domain hosters that there are out there but you can easily get in touch with your domain that you've bought the domain off of and you can say to them I want this done or you can go in find where those pieces of information are the DNS records and the redirect records if you need to they're the key words you should look for and then you shouldn't have any problems now I'm also going to put up the sheet that um, Rakesh did um, where he gives step step through so there will be a link below with that link to the support page if you need to check that out um, if you want to follow along with the videos follow along with the videos if you do have any problems like I said just talk to your host and they will be able to sort it out um, now you remember also that you need to go into your site settings and you need to set that up in there you need to update it okay guys so that is custom domains setting it up for your Zenla site